Hello again. Another video. This is my third take doing this goddamn video. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a sound that plays at random pitches. Here I got the bruh sound, you know, because bruh. Bruh. sound, I guess. Um, I'm using a click detector. You don't have to use a click detector. You could fire it in whatever way. I'm just making it a click detector for game purposes. <laughs> So right here, you're going to be able to click the part if I play the game. Uh, I bet you the part's really far away. Oh yeah. You'll be able to click the part. Oh my god. Stop freezing. So if I go right here, I love that click icon. It's so new, totally. <laughs> so, I have to clear my throat because I just ate. Uh, anyway. Uh, so I gotta do the, the script here. So I'm gonna grab the click detector, local clicky equals click uh, script dot parent. <coughs> script dot parent being this. This would be a parent of this script here. Of course you know that, maybe, I don't know. Just in case you don't. There you go, there's your info. You're welcome. Clicky thingy. So that's the click detector. You want to you want to check if it's clicking. So that's what that is for. It's just check. It's grabbing that variable, of course, setting the variable for clicking. <laughs> now I need the sound. I'm gonna do the variable for the sound. What I got bra sound sure equals script dot parent dot bra. Now, I think I'm going to make this easier for myself, even though I just spent the, the time typing it already. I'm just like that. I'm going to do bruh part equals script.parent. There we go. And I'm just going to be a lazy sack of, you know, what? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna do that. <coughs> That's click detector, that's sound. Now, what I'm gonna do is inside the sound, I'm gonna clone it. In fact, instead of having bra in here, I'm gonna actually, I forgot to do this, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, put it in a folder, all the sounds, put bra inside of there, and then script, do script dot sounds dot bra. There we go. <laughs> so now, because the sound's in the folder, it doesn't do anything different. So, nothing special there. I worded that so poorly, but whatever. Um, sounds, <laughs> the the sound, just put it, if you want it to just be stored somewhere, I'd recommend just doing a folder so you know where it is. But you put it in there. And then when you want it to play, what I'm going to do is a method that people use in order to be able to play the sound on top of another one. So if I'm playing bra and then it plays another one while it's playing this one, it won't stop this one, it'll play on top instead of stopping it and then playing it again. So that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function, actually no I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to save that for a later video. Um, but. I want the clicky thing, so that click, mouse click, connect, function. Now I'm creating a function for it to click, just so you can hear the sound when I click the, the part. <coughs> now we want to make a pitch shift sound effect. So pitch equals instance dot new pitch shift sound effect. So that would be this right here. If I'm inserting pitch shift, I'm doing, I'm inserting it here. So it's not on, on the Explorer confusing people. So you have the pitch shift, but it does that automatically. And you see the octave. I'm going to be changing that in the script, the pitch local pitch. So a lot of people, they'll do pitch dot period, blah, blah, blah. No, you, you should put it in here. It's it's much cleaner. Um, so I would do 
actually, I forgot to do something here. Local new sound equals sound. Yeah, bra sound clone. Now, new sound. I'm going to make it clone the sound because it needs to clone the sound in order to be able to play it on top of another. So, I would do new sound.parent. If I want the sound to play from the part, I'd want to put it in the part. So, I'll go to sound.parent equals part, uh, which is script.parent, bra part. Yeah, that's bra part. There we go. Bra part. <laughs> <coughs> now, new sound. That should be good. So, now I could put the new sound right here. New sound pitch. So in order to make it random you gotta you gotta do math dot random but there's a little bit of a catch, you know, because like not everything is easy in this world. Um but what you should be doing is instead of just doing math dot random say point five one you should do something else because what this does is it basically um it'll just pick zero and one because it doesn't do decimals so what we want to do is local pit uh octave i'm going to say octave equals i would say yeah, so I would do the the thing math dot random dot random. <coughs> uh, I would say maybe let's do. Uh, I want to divide it, so I'm gonna start with one hundred three hundred, and then divide it by uh, uh, ten. I believe no, a thousand. I believe. Yeah, that would work. So point three point one. Um, so I would do one plus. So that would change the octave inside the pitch shift. So that'll that'll make it random right there. Um, <coughs> but I could go even further. Because this will always play it above the, the volume, uh, not volume, the pitch. Bruh. So Bruh. that's the pitch, you know? So Bruh. It will always play in a higher pitch if I do it like this. But what I've done more recently is I would do local add or subtract. I don't give a crap what I put here, but equals math.random.random. One, two. So it's going to pick between one and two. And then what I could do is if add or subtract equals one, then. And then I could do else. So I'll make it so if it picks one, it adds. And if it, um, if it picks two, which is of course else there's only one and two so it's gonna pick one or two so i got it doing else i don't need to write add or subtract equal equal two because i'd rather be lazy and type this instead of typing else if like this i'd rather be lazy so <laughs> screw you <laughs> um but if you wanted to add or subtract which means it the average pitch will be this. Bruh. Bruh. But with this, the average pitch would be higher. So I'm doing uh whoops. So I do negative. <coughs> now that doesn't do anything yet. So I put it in the pitch. Pitch dot octave equals um Oh, I forgot to do something here. Hold on. Octave equals. So I'm going to do. Actually, yeah, pitch dot octave. I should do that. Pitch dot octave. So pitch dot octave. 
right here dot octave come on type mr man type come on um <laughs> i would uh after that i would make sure let me let me see if i got this right so usually yeah you put it in the sound pitch shift sound effect it goes into the sound so now that i got the sound i can do new sound play now that'll play the sound of course i think you're not stupid so i think you know what that does um and then what you want to do in order to prevent the sound from just cloning and cloning and cloning you want to do now a lot of people they'll think oh i'm just going to put a number here no what you should do is new sound nope not new proxy get out of here new proxy new i cannot type dot time length so this is a number right here you can't change this value but you can use it for checking the time length so if you print time print time length it's always going to print this right here so i do wait time length i like to consider lag into account so i'll do like something like this plus one second so it waits a second before it deletes the object but new sound should be destroyed to to avoid any issues um in the game that should work if it doesn't work then i'm an idiot um i can't press the play button i'm just that clumsy apparently uh let's let's play this oh yes i love that lag also shameless shameless plug right here you should get this plug in <laughs> right here uh create large characters anyway <laughs> see it's random <laughs> now the only issue here is you're gonna have to trial and error so i would say uh one and I would divide it by 10,000 if I'm trying to make it a little less weird. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's try it again. It sounds so freaking weird. <laughs> um, if you want it more subtle, you divide it by higher numbers, obviously. Uh, if you're trying to make it a smaller decimal. Bruh, 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 bruh. Yeah. Being weird again. I might have done my division wrong. Let's do. Oh, that's the problem. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. That's why it's not working properly. I accidentally put the two there. Let's get rid of that then. Yeah, do that. You see, this video is real raw. You get to see me complain about it not working. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I love just freezing for no reason. <laughs> well, you get the point. It it plays random sounds. It just requires a lot of tweaking if you're trying to make it sound better. So, I would say I'm just going to mess with it one more time before I end off. Uh, I would do 1 and 200. 100, 200. Let's see what that does. It always requires some trial and error. I could do 0 and 200 actually. Now that I think of it. <laughs> okay, let's let's do that. 0 and 200. 0 and 200. Oh wait, I should have done that in the first place. Yeah, I should have done that in the first place. Oh well. Well, you got that. Dang, Nabbit, I got it wrong. That's okay, this video will just be longer. Uh, yeah, there we go, that's better. <laughs> See, it's random pitch. 
and you hear it. You hear it. Brad, 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 Brad,